the question it's a short one but a beautiful one the question says what day is the sabbath saturday or sunday you know the word sabbath what is sabbath first of all sabbath is a day that was declared as holy for the israelites because god in the account of the creation himself considered it a holy commanded the seventh day to be kept aside as a day of rest as a day as god himself rested from creation and the biblical command was remember the sabbath day to keep it holy exodus 20 8 to 11 so therefore the sabbath the word sabbath and the day sabbath comes from the hebrews that for them in their culture in their spirituality the seventh day the day of the sabbath was the most holiest day in fact it was so holy not only that they have to keep up their prayers and rituals they are not allowed to do a work you know jesus himself in the gospel two or three times the the pharisees and the scribes of course hypocrites they tell jesus how can you do the work on sunday and what work did jesus did jesus lifted up one who was lame and made him whole jesus helped the people in some other way and therefore these good things even the saving things also they considered them as once not to be done on the day of sabbath that was the what we call ritualistic and a guilt feeling to do any work because the day whole day was reserved to the lord perhaps one we can we can ask why do we need to celebrate sabbath in the mind of god to take rest as such first of all did god need rest itself it's a contradiction but then what by rest is meant the seventh day is the day by which we appreciate what god has done for us what is done for us if i if i am running now let us say i am running for a marathon of 40 50 kilometers i am running running right i have no time to see this side or that side if there is a beautiful tiger there perhaps i missed it out if there is a blooming flower tree there i have missed it out so the rest means i stop i pause in order to admire what i am seeing the sun the moon the nature the family there are so many things that i can admire so therefore in that sense is the rest so when was the sabbath for the israelites the sabbath was saturday the sabbath was saturday that means the seventh day was the sabbath. the sunday for them became the first day and the saturday became the last day that's the sabbath day and so the sabbath for them began actually on friday the father israelites the day begins not at sunrise or rather not at uh, according to our time table and our watch at uh, 12:01 at night for us the new day begins for the israelites the new day begin when the sun set therefore the previous day evening till the previous next day evening was one day so friday evening till saturday evening was the sabbath day and as i said on the sabbath day they had to do their rituals and prayers but no work is such they could not even go to tie the in the bullock in the pen or perhaps in the shed there that was considered as work so that meant so ruthless in their ideas were they about the sabbath for us christians when is the sabbath the sabbath for us is on sunday why don't we keep up the sabbath of the of the jews that was saturday because for us the sabbath perhaps is changes a little because jesus rose on sabbath that's the sunday so as we see the gospels that jesus was crucified on friday and he was kept in the grave as it were immediately after but on the evening of the next day that's almost the beginning of the sunday jesus is resurrected resurrects himself and we call it the feast of easter and so for us the sabbath or the whole meaning of the sabbath that was there for the israelites on saturday shifts to sunday because of the resurrection of jesus and for us also perhaps we can say that you know 
it starts on the previous day evening some of course would be restricted and say only the day and date wise but we also say that the sunday saturday evening could also be considered as sabbatical or uh, the sabbath fulfilling rituals or perhaps mass that we say you know many of our churches we have a late evening mass on saturday which is the fulfillment of our obligation for sunday but sunday as such is the sabbath day for us according to the the perception that jesus rose from the dead on sabbath that's the sunday for us and sunday is the most powerful day for us in fact every sunday is celebration of easter in the week and that is why we also keep up the same rituals and the, the same celebrations of mass prayers good works etc and we beyond that we also tell the people that we don't have to work on sunday that one day perhaps we allow god to rule over us allow god to provide us to provide us you know that was one of the ideas of the israelites also if one day we do not work don't you think that god cannot provide us for one day let us see and god provided them so that is also a day of our uh, what we call the experiencing the faith in god on sunday if i don't work i don't starve god looks after me if i have faith in god god will look after me besides that i have said that sunday for us could be also be a day of the family you know many of our people go for work but sunday we are there we we'll just be together let us pray together let us eat together let us enjoy together a day of our community a day of our community perhaps in the neighborhood there are so many things that are happening which on the weekday i am not able to go and see but perhaps now is the best time for us on sunday so for us christians the sabbath is on sunday for israelites it was on saturday so since we come to this new generation as it were the christ generation we are the easter people we are called the easter people and therefore let us celebrate sunday as our sabbath i wish you a very happy week ahead